Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy Bashore. I am a writer, photographer, avid outdoors woman, and lover of two GSPs. But today, I have just one of them. And we are headed for a hike on this 90 degree South Dakota day. So it's nice and toasty warm here. And thought I would bring you along with. <laughs> I would love to hear from anyone that has ever visited South Dakota and I would love to hear what your favorite part of this state was. Um, I absolutely love living here. I love the wide open spaces. We travel to the mountains or the hills at least once or twice a year and I love it there. It's beautiful but I always love coming back to wide open spaces where I just feel like I can breathe. Um, I can see so far, which I love, um, and it just makes me happy. So if you've ever been to South Dakota, I'd love to know what you loved about it as well. So I just have one dog with me today because Bentley somehow hurt his leg playing fetch yesterday and so we keep calling him the tripod because one of his back legs isn't working so good. So it's just me and Berkster. But Berkeley likes to be first at everything so he tries to go really fast. So if I had a breath making this video it's because I can't be keep up with Berkeley. <sighs> walk today I am using the my life handle um, it's perfect for one dog they do not make a two dog harness which makes me sad I'm hoping they do eventually but it's perfect when I just want to take one dog somewhere that he has to be on leash because my hands can be free to do other things and um, not have him uh, pulling on my arms essentially and pulling my sockets out it does have a handle here so if I do need to get a hold of him anywhere if someone comes by or I just need to get a grip on him, I'm able to do so. So I thought I would test this out and show you guys how it works here. One of the things I love about it is that the leash here that tethers to him and to me, it has a little bit of like shock absorbers to it. So when he does pull, I don't feel it quite as much because this Berkeley is very much a puller. Bentley doesn't pull quite as much, but Burke is definitely a puller, but this has a little bit of stretch to it so that I'm able um, to not feel the pull as much as I might with like a standard leash that pulls your arm out of your socket. So I do really like that. Like I said before, it wraps around my waist here, and so it's connected. There's no like parts where I can necessarily release it. So you can see it connects to his harness right back here, and I'm using the blue nine harness that wraps around his body um, all the way around. It's sort of a pain to get on, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad. So you'll see the other thing I have around his neck is a tick collar, and I will link all three of these items below in the video. So the leash, the harness, and the tick collar that we're using this year. Um, so that you can check those out and see if they'll work for you as well. We definitely have ticks here in South Dakota, so gotta play it safe with the boys. As I mentioned before, it's just me and Berkeley out here today on a solo or duo instead of a trio mission. And most of the time, it's Bentley that I take on solo missions because Bentley does much better when I need him on leash. He's also much better at staying close to me. Um, Berkeley can get a little bit rangy and he likes to pull, as I mentioned before, because he is very much alpha dominant and I'm not very good at training them to not pull so that's on me um 
if you have tips on teaching them not to pull, that's definitely an area that I'm not super strong in knowledge and haven't really done a lot of research on other than finding different leashes that work. And they do work a little bit. Um, that's one thing that I've liked about this one. And maybe it's because I have a stronger core, but it doesn't require my arms necessarily. It's more of like a core strength, which I definitely feel stronger in than in my arms. Um, so I just find it overall, it's, it's kind of grabbing my center of gravity instead of at my limbs, um, which is just less painful overall. see right there just as I went down the stairs having that handle to grab onto really helped me get my bearings and be able to control him a little bit more so that I could keep him closer to me and he wasn't pulling me down so that handle comes in handy quite a bit. South Dakota doesn't last very long, but it comes in fast and furious, it gets super hot, um, sticks around for a few months, and then we disappear in the fall real quick before it heads to winter. A lot of people think it doesn't get very hot in South Dakota, but we actually get huge swings from negative temperatures all the way up into hundreds. So we get those huge, huge swings from winter to summer, and it just keeps it interesting around here. There is no one else in this parking lot but me, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him off leash for a little bit. I don't think his energy is all out yet. So he's gonna go run a minute. We're just chilling a bit, letting him cool down. He's got some water here in this thing. I'll also link this below. It's awesome. You just squeeze out some water, then he can get a drink and it goes back into the bottle. Super easy. Also, you can hook it to your life handle if you want to, which is so great. So really the only downside to the life handle is that I can't do two dogs at once. And obviously I have two dogs, so that's hard. Um, hopefully they'll come out with a model to do that soon and then that will just go away. Otherwise, I don't really see any downfalls. If you've used one before, I'd love to hear about that because um, I just think they're awesome and I'm so glad that I found it. Where did he go? Berkey! Berk! There he is. He's back there. So, anyways, I just want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you that shows up here and watches all my videos, comments, follows me on Instagram, all the things. Um, my boys and I love sharing our life with you and this channel is more fun because you're here. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.